Hi guys, everyone. Thank you for watching my video. So today, um, so we are going to discuss about uh, the Pandas library. Um, in the last video, I have um, shared with you guys uh, the key uh, library in uh, Python with respect to uh, data science. So hope that will give you the base idea about like what are the different types of uh, uh, libraries which helps the data science. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the pandas. Actually, as I mentioned earlier, the pandas is a, one of the biggest uh, library tool you can say. So there are so many options, there's so many features which you can play around with the data, right? So that's what actually I'm planning to make uh, you know, different part uh, to deal with the pandas libraries features um, in reasonable size so that uh, so you can uh, read uh, contents and as well as like uh, you can you can try yourself uh, with a simple code right um, so the pandas is nothing but um, as we discussed already uh, panel plus data it's a kind of pandas. So the name which is arrived from that, the kind of uh, the panel data we are going to discuss. So it's a combination of the panel and the data combination. So we can see some, right? So this specific piece of things already we have discussed in the last video. So just quickly I'll wrap it up and we'll go to the next piece of it, right? Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, this is a very high level data structure and functions and uh, very complex operations. So you can do by using pandas just like that, right? And same time, uh, it, it has all the features, whatever the things you're doing with your SQL, um, we used to say it's a DML command, data manipulation language. So we used to call out in SQL. So the similar kind of things we can do with of pandas. Um, during the data science EDA process, right? So um, if, if you guys are new to that, uh, um, already if you know that the SQL operations, the DML things are, so that's fine. But the people are new to that, the SQL have never heard about like SQL worked on that. So don't, no, don't worry about that. So I'm planning to create a separate video which to cover like the comparison of uh, uh, the pandas um, with SQL. So how used to do uh, the things in SQL and we can, Read the similar thing in our uh, panel, right? so we'll see that. So, uh, as I mentioned, um, uh, this is actually the pandas as well, so to kind of a tabular data, ordered data, not a data, all those things, right? So, the specific uh, the diagram, um, so the picture which talks about like uh, what pandas can do that's very, very important, right? So it's a big ocean kind of stuff. So you can do a lot of things with, uh, by using a pandas. So like ins uh, deleting the column, inserting the column, playing around with that data set, and reshape reshaping that column. And you can make it a pivot just like that, and making a ranking, uh, learning the data, and grouping, and uh, merging, joining as I mentioned the SQL things. So, so the same way we can do ascending and descending, uh, filtering the data like your var conditions in. Uh, a SQL the same way for the split, slice, and dices of data. That's a very, very important thing with respect to the data science point, like the EDA process. That's exploratory data analysis. It's a major part in our data science life cycle. So we will see that as well. The same way we have the other the futures. So there are it's the, the things that goes uh, beyond this picture. So I, I covered as much as possible within this picture uh, space. So in more, we have in pandas okay All right so the next one uh, the pandas is not alone it's going to play around the data science so when you're developing a small uh, model development so it's combined with the numpy scikit-learn and matplotlib and stack model and uh, it enhances the future and so we can get benefit out of that very very important point you must understand okay so we see that as well when we are doing like all other uh, um, how we can play around with uh, uh, like a, all uh, data science life cycle stuff so it will be by the time you can realize all these things okay I'll, I'll remember this all right next one 
Right. So how we want to go with the pandas in uh, Jupyter Notebook or any data at Brick or whatever it is, right? If you want to do pandas by default, uh, when you're installing Anagunda, so by default, the pandas will be there. Don't worry about that. But explicitly, if you want to install the pandas pins, you're supposed to execute this command in your notebook so that it will install directly from here itself. That is something but PIP and install pandas, right? Using this script command in um, notebook. So once we execute that automatically, that, that things will be, uh, it needs to be kind of internet. It's very important thing. The internet and it downloaded and it, and it downloaded to your uh, local system and you can start using the pandas. And the other ways as well available that is actually command mode or else in uh, navigator as well. Like the underwater navigator as well. Actually, we have a provision to download whichever uh, what are the, the libraries we need to install apart from by default. This, right. I'll show that as well, like in separate video. So that's very important. Right. Okay. So if I want to install the pandas in my um, uh, Jupyter node environment, so underwater uh, environment, so we need to do that uh, the install. Pandas means automatically that things will be downloaded successfully. You will get right. so now the pandas library is ready. So how we can we are going to use that, uh, import that and use that. So guys, actually when we are discussing about the um, the Python programming, the most of the libraries we are going to use the import the keyword. Okay, so like Java. So if you are familiar with Java, C sharp, and the, the languages, so we used to have that import statement. If you if you're not familiar with those things, forget about that. So import is a statement to import a specific library keyword mm -hmm. in there, right? So import pandas as PD, then you will get that PD is an object so that you can play around with all the methods which is available with the pandas. Like it's a huge, huge and huge. Like a person cannot be, cannot explore everything. This is a case by case it might differ. So that don't worry about that. Like so whichever is possible, then go through that and uh, we'll cover maximum thing. Okay, so because we have so many things to do in our data uh, science life cycle and for the machine implementation, that's very important, right? So once we done with the import pandas, it's a PD, then automatically you are you are all set, like you, are, you can go directly go on it. Right? What are the main components? What are the major things in the pandas? When you're going to play around with the pandas package, what you need? You need very basic thing is series and data frame right the series and the data frame is very very important thing without that we cannot do any data validations and what how uh, i told uh, um in my uh, uh in this specific way like, pandas can do picture so you cannot do anything without that specific uh, right so at least you need to have the data frame so that only they can play around with that um play around with the data right but data so let, let's discuss about uh, in this specific video. So what is series and data frame, okay. right? The series and data frame is going to be very basic components, right? And the series is nothing but a dictionary and a collection of, series, right? And we could construct the data frame by merging all the series, right? Available series, and we can create a data frame. So we'll see that how we can create it. And before that, let's see, let's discuss about what series. Series is nothing but is a one-dimensional array. It's just like that in your C programming or C C plus plus programming or Java. If you want to declare the array, and the and even in C sharp as well. So if you're familiar with those languages, doesn't matter. So it's a simple array declaration. If you guys are very new to this uh, array, means uh, certainly actually I uh, have a separate. Uh, uh, the Python uh, programming uh, related all the videos I have. So probably you can just go through uh, those things so that it will be easy for to understand what exactly. Array. So array is a collection of similar data. Okay, array is nothing but a collection of similar data, right? So it, it has some index value as well, and it starts from zero. How it is actually C C plus plus programming is we used to have the index starts from zero. Same way in pandas as well. This is a very basic thing. So just please refer what I mentioned earlier. So the series from the list. So you can create a series from the list, direct a dictionary, and uh, 
and, uh, list in list with list within list there directly and direct within directly so there are sort of combinations of that so we can create that so let's see how they're creating simple series that is nothing but series just i'm declaring a variable right one two three four five and i'm creating pd dot series of the object value i'm passing over here <clears throat> and then i'm printing the value then it will print one two three four five it's simple because this is just array and i'm passing this array into my series so i'm able to print that value okay so you can ask me what is that specific thing that like there is a difference right so as long as if it is a it, if it is as a list it doesn't have any kind of like the accessing that uh, you have to access by the numbers position basically but when it comes into that series it has an index value that's very very important it's nothing but it's a kind of value. that's very important right and the same way you can create a series from a dictionary that's very important right dictionary is nothing but a key and value so we have some key key and and equivalent value should be there so if you guys are familiar with uh, bb programming uh, bb dot net programming or uh, c sharp even we have like um, in java as well actually we have that um, series combinations like combination of the key and values but if you're not familiar with that again same thing don't doesn't matter so already i have clearly given that what exactly in my python series so that just goes and for that okay so series actually dictionary is nothing but this is going to be a T and relevant value. T and relevant value. T and relevant value. Similar to that. So I, I'm creating a simple dictionary and I'm passing the dictionary as my series. So when I'm creating a series, I'm passing this value. So I'm getting a small series, right? This is one small series, right? This is one small series. The integer is a string. Right? And the same way, if you are going to access the value of the object, very simple that object dot means it will give all the possible method. See here in uh, Jupyter notebook. So once you dot and put a tab, so you can get all the available methods. So we used to call it intelligence. So such a features are available here so that directly you can use and you can pick up that. So now just I'm using it values. So that the series object dot values means so it will print all the values which is available in my that's very important, right? And the same way, I'm trying to get the index. What are the index values available in series? So that is something but dot index means so I'm getting one, two, three, four the index values. This is the other way. And now I'm creating a two different um uh, list and I'm passing as here. Uh, two values, two different parameters for my series, right? That is nothing but one and index value. So by default, this uh, when we are creating a series, then it will create the the index value zero, one, two, three, four, something like that. Um, so one, two, three. Yeah, it starts with one, two, three, and n like this. See here, I'm create here. I created um, one, one, two, three, four, five, so that I'm getting. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 index value and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 my number, right? And same way here, specifically I have given an index value. So this is this key is nothing but here index value and is converted similar to winter, uh, value and maple is going to be my uh, values, right? So this is going to be index and uh, value and this is going to be keep, um, uh, my data, right? So here, this example I'm creating um, by using um, by index as well as um, uh, my uh, uh, index as well as the value by using a two different uh, list and passing this as uh, my uh, parameter in my series so that I'm getting this. So it's a very simple thing. So uh, you can play around with the series like the one dimensional array, but most of the time in real time scenario, uh, the usability depends on case by case, extracting some specific column that you can play around with. That means by that time, you should remember that you are playing with this, not with the data, right? Okay. And coming to next, is a data frame. Data frame is nothing but two dimensional array with a fixed element. Okay. And a collection of one dimensional arrays, right? Uh, as we discussed earlier, it's going to be a series, series of collection is nothing but is a data frame. And it could be from build start from dictionary also. You can create that. Let's see that how we create objects. And it's a kind of 
a rectangular table of data, as I mentioned, tableau data, right? So, row column. So it has a columns value and row value. That's very important thing, right? So and row, row and column has its own index. So when I'm discussing with the lock, uh, lock concept, so I'll show that how these the column uh, index and row index are like uh, arranged in the data set so that you can understand clearly on that, right? Then we have a um, uh, document for uh, uh, all Python libraries so that so you can just go through those things. So you can get a lot of things. Uh, but don't confuse much on that because there are so many options are available. But stick with like whichever available, what what is available uh, and required for our uh, um, development so that we can. So when is it, when, when when we are going to implement something new, so we can find out from the documentation, right? So you can create a series of uh, uh, dictionary by using series and the dictionary of dictionary and list of dictionary. Um, and list of list, any combination. So you can create the different vari varieties of the way of creating your data, right? So see here, actually, uh, this is employee number, employee name. This is series one and this is series two. So I'm creating two different series, right? And I'm combining that, I'm getting this data frame. So in this data frame, is going to be a, a EMP a employee number and EMP employee name is going to be a two different series and once it's combined and I'm getting a data frame. So I can I can play around with this. Now I can call out this data set, isn't it? Right? Cool. So here is a simple way to create my um, my data frame. How it is. So I have my list, I have my list of two. This is e, uh, employee number and the employee name, right? Employee name list. And then uh, I'm creating two different series. That is one is going to be uh, ENO series and uh, EMP name underscore series, the two different series I'm creating. And I'm passing, I'm creating here a, a dictionary. That is nothing but uh, um, ENO is my index value. Right, that is something that yeah, we, we can call out as what um, column, right? So you know, it's a one key, key and value, key and value. So that what will happen? This is will take it as a yeah, one key value five for my series ENO, and this is going to be one key value for my series value of my EMP name underscore CS, uh, um, series, right? So after I created this uh, data um, dictionary. And then I'm passing this data dictionary into, into, into as a parameter for my data frame object. PD.series we have, we have used here to create the um, um, series object, series object. And now I'm, cre I'm creating data frame uh, as a, a parameter for DF so that the, the PD data frame of DF will create my data set. Once I print this one statement, Obviously, I'm getting is a kind of table. So if you look at this one, you could uh, compare with uh, what is a classic table in your uh, SQL. Okay, so, so you can compare with that as well. That's very important uh, um, things like so. Here we have created a data frame success, right? So the same way, I have uh, with lots of uh, a combination, right? How, how playing with that. So the, the next video I'll share with the, the, the next portion. So how we are going to play around with the data. So now you know what is exactly data uh, series and uh, what is data frame and how we are creating these two things and how we are displaying simple data using. Or else even you can make it like this as well. It doesn't matter. Print. MP. That's it. So, so if you give this way, then you can get the output like this. And uh, if you are giving simple statement like this, so you'll get uh, in the grid form. That not much major different. So we'll see other things like one by one. Um, so definitely um, the things will help you guys. So I'll, I'll, I'll definitely make sure that. So 
I'll share the next two video clips like uh, the other. This slowly will improve that as I mentioned my first video. So slowly we'll get to understand what exactly a bit and pieces thing. So we'll get into that. Uh, right. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching the video. So please uh, uh, share your comments and uh, uh, bell button and subscribe this channel so that we'll get my videos on time thank you guys i'll get back to you another video